I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make faux stained glass, which looks something like this. And I made that the same way that I made this. One is a simple, smaller frame and the other is a bigger project. It's the glass part of the backyard door. And I'm really happy my parents liked it because I did it without asking. <laughs> Anyway, there are two ways to do this, so let me show you how I did it. Here's my floating frame that I got at Michael's. This frame is actually 30 bucks, but was on clearance for five bucks. God, I love a bargain. Anyway, so you wanna take a piece of paper that is the same size as the glass you're working with, and you can go ahead and map out your design if you wish. Use a marker color other than black so you can easily see which lines you've traced and which you haven't. Now, there are two ways to paint this, so first I'm going to show you the Mod Podge way. Take a plastic cup, and it's best to use one that comes with a lid so the Mod Podge doesn't get hard if you need to do a second coat. And add some food coloring in there and stir it around to get a nice tinted Mod Podge mixture. So here I'm painting my first layer, and you can see it's sort of streaky, but that's why we have the lid on the plastic container, because this is going to need more coats once the first layer dries. And now here is the alcohol ink way to do it. You'll definitely want to play around with the alcohol ink before you use it because it can react in tons of different ways. But in the end, it will look something like this. Now, if you're working with small shapes, you want to add a drop or two and then gently spread it around. And in my opinion, this looks most like stained glass. But if you're covering a bigger area, you're going to want to use a brush and sort of figure out what kind of look you're going for. And a quick tip before we start, when using the puffy paint, you want to maintain an even squeeze as you draw. If not, it will look something like this. And if for some reason you draw something that you hate, you can simply wipe it off with paper towel since the paint is still wet. I like to use this alcohol solution when that happens. Here's the alcohol ink that I use. You want to shake the puffy paint before you start using it. And now let me go ahead and freehand this baby. So as you can see, some of my colors started to bleed into each other because I used too many drops. But that happens to totally be my style. I don't love anything too perfect, so I left it. But if I wanted to take it off, I could just go in there with some alcohol solution and paper towels and kind of dab it off and start over before the ink even dried. To prevent fading and yellowing, you can paint a coat of glossy varnish to your piece if you'd like. I'll attach a link to the one I used in the description below. And here is the faux stained glass on a much larger scale. For this one, I used both the Mod Podge method and the alcohol ink method because I wanted tons of texture and I was going for a messy childlike look. And here is the one I made with just the alcohol ink. And there you have it. A fun, time consuming, effective, and more adult craft. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you gave it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to see more crafts. You can find me on Instagram at madcrafty and I'll see you next time. Bye. Did I press record?